Hello, 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 everyone. Once again, you welcome to Robocast right here at robocast.tv with Onos Shanoms. And we are still in the series how to tie the Urobo traditional wrapper. So, but today we are going to be doing what we call the Okotiebo. I'm very, very sure that you have heard about the way Okotiebo, our uh, former finance minister, Nigerian finance minister, used to tie his wrapper, very long wrapper that it will be dragging and some people holding it at the back. All right, but we're not going to be having people to look, to hold it at the back here. But we're just going to do that, which is long. Uh, but I must warn you that if you're going to be tying this kind of wrapper, you must be ready for your hand to be like this at all times. Okay, which means you have to be holding the wrapper like that at all times. Is it, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's nice. It makes you look really, really beautiful. But it's a lot of work as well. You know holding your wrapper everywhere you are going. So we're going to jump right to it. Um, one other tip that I want to give to you when you're tying your wrapper is that one, try to look as comfortable as possible on your inside. And then number two, when you are dressing out, try to have matching colors because when you have matching colors, you don't look, uh, you, you look nice, okay? When you have matching color, you look nice. You don't look all over the place, you know. Um, we have a lot of people who like multi colors, that is not my style. I like matching colors, so if I'm putting on brown, I like some brown to be, you know, in the accessories, you know, apart from my bead, which is usually same color. All right, so we're going to jump right to Kotiebo, yes. And once again, you have to uh, do your wrapper first, wrapper first thing, and make sure you know the inside and out so you have to look yes this is the outside you can see it looks uh, uh, quite it's quite clear that this is where we are looking for the side that we're looking for okay so you throw it round once again and then you start taking the wrapper to your right hand side make sure that you have more of the wrapper on the right hand side of the material on your right hand side and then this is filled and as before same thing throw this make sure you spread your legs again throw this run all right secure and then bring this this way all right now so this is where we do the cutable that is the cutable flowing onto that side all right, I think we will call it a glue. We only glue you see, but in my corner, we don't know the name for that. I haven't looked it up, but there is a name for it as well, not Ukotiebo. But this is an Ukotiebo style. That is not the name of the wrapper. I think Urubo has a name for it. At some point, I'm going to let you guys know. But this is uh, famous with Ukotiebo. He used to tie his wrapper like this, and we have a lot of shifts. Uh, that does it. I have a friend called uh, Chief Paula who that usually ties wrapper this way. Okay, now, now secured. Now, because we need an ukotiebo, we're not going to be folding like we used to fold. So we're going to start that folding from somewhere very very close. Yeah, leaving most of the wrapper on the floor. Yeah. And you secure it quite nicely like this see that is the wrapper done if you ask me is the easiest kind of way of tying the robot traditional wrapper you can see that is all there. Yeah? That's the coachable all there. Now, if you start walking like this, it means your wrapper will be rubbing the floor. That is the reason why Okotiebo have people holding his wrapper at the back while it's moving at the front. Alright, we have allowance. 
and that is to put your buff for you. Okay? So, now you go for your top. Now, if you need a belt, like if you are just doing this for the first time, it's best for you to have a belt. And uh, like I said, this is a coachable. It can easily unravel on you. Okay? And you don't want that while you are in a function where there are so many people watching. And don't forget, once you tie a wrapper like this, the rest of the show, eyes will be on you. Okay? Because you're going to be looking different from many other people because people just like to tie their wrapper the different way. Okay? Not like this. Alright? So, once you've done that, you put your shirt on. And this is for a function, yeah? Don't forget that. Okay? Because you're not going to be tying your wrapper, everyday wrapper, looking like this. It's hard work. I tell you it's hard work and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how, you know, it becomes real, real hard work. Okay? Put your shirt on. Button up nicely. Your cufflinks or your button, if you shift the uh, is um, with buttons. Personally, I prefer cufflinks in my shirts. Um, that because you can then change, you know, the way your button look at every given time. All right. So having done that, once again, you have your beads, your neck bead, and the one in your wrist. And of course, your hat. Okay? Now, this hat is not an Urubo hat. This is a Karakul from uh, Pakistan. Alright? But uh, it's made of sheepskin. And Urubo people used to have caps with sheepskin. Okay? Uh, in the past. Uh, we don't have those. You don't, you don't see them these days. Alright? But. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It looks really, really good. It looks nice on me. So I like wearing it as well. Yeah, it's different from when you wear the, um, the straw hats. Alright? So now, Okotiebo, you then need to carry this like this at all times. You see? Having dressed your wrapper like this, you then need to Hold this nicely at all times. Yeah, so this is the style. Alright, and that is how Kote Boy used to do it. When he is by himself, he's holding it just like this. And I told you about my friend that does it as well. But it's respectable, okay? When you come up to an occasion like this, it's really, really respectable. A lot of people see that, you know, you know, you look good, you look gorgeous. Um, one of the reasons why personally I don't dress like this out is because it's hard work for me. Alright? For those people who are very, very comfortable with it, it really, really look good. Really, really look gorgeous. Once you hold your wrapper into an occasion like this, you know, they know eyes will be on you. Alright? Very, quite easily, eyes will be on you. So, this is how it is done. Alright? Now, once again, if you like this video, please subscribe. And there's going to be many, many more coming. Uh, and support us right here at orubocast.tv. Okay, so please support us. And we're going to be having many, many more of these contents to your living rooms. And showing you how some of these things are done so that we don't struggle. But like I said, practice made perfect. Okay, you need to practice this all the time for you to be perfect. All right. So until we come your way again next time, thank you very much uh, for watching and thank you for your support so far. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's move this channel forward. Ono Sanos is my name. Thank you for watching.